What's up everyone, this is PG Gifted here from FaZe Gaming. Today I'm um, bringing to you guys a nice little 29-1 TDM gameplay on Cracked. And this is actually the second time I've had to do the commentary because the first time I forgot to click Blue Snowball on my mic because I'm an idiot. But uh, yeah, this is, oh yeah, if you guys don't know what the Blue Snowball is, it's just a thing that allows you to record with good quality. It's just a nice mic that you can buy that costs money. But Anyway, this is a gameplay from about a month and a half ago, pretty old, when I still played Black Ops, and now I don't really play it anymore because I'd rather spend my time having fun with the game rather than playing a dead game that I hate. So, um, I guess I wanted to talk about two things in this commentary. So one is the Phase Agony scam, and two is how Treyarch is very, very annoying, and I guess I'll start off with that. So, Hype brought up a solid point the other day to me how... Infinity Ward makes good games. It doesn't really do much to fix it. Like, they didn't really fix hacks in COD 4 or MW2. While Black Ops was kind of, uh, hack-proof, I guess you could say. And, um, it was just kind of an- It was- It's kind of annoying to me how Treyarch does not bring back the good aspects of the game, such as quickscoping. I mean, that's obviously an opinion, but a lot of people find quickscoping fun. And, JG- JD2020, or whatever the hell the guy's name is, I could care less. He, um- he didn't bring quicksoping back because he probably saw these amazing quicksopers such as like Tage or I can't even pronounce his. I don't. I sound probably really stupid not being able to pronounce Tage's name, but anyway, Tabe, Tabe, that's it. Yeah, so Tabe or one of these Phase Clan guys or Zergris or somebody, and um, he sees them and thinks, oh, quicksoping must be unfair because they can go thirty and one. But what obviously he's not realizing is that it's his, it's their best games. And it's not like they can do that every game. And also, if you can do that with a sniper, it just, it's just as easy, if not easier, obviously easier, actually, to do that with a machine gun. And um, I just don't see why you take away a part of the game that many people enjoy. But, uh, yeah, that's just my kind of feel on it. I'm, I'm happy they're bringing it back for MW3. But the more important topic in this commentary was the FaZe Clan scam. So if you guys have not, no, not FaZe Clan scam, I apologize for that. Phase Agony scam. So, um, I, I think I've been saying Phase Gun all along. My bad, Phase Gun. Did not mean to call you guys out as a whole. But, uh, Phase Agony, Phase Agony. Alright, so, pretty much, if you guys have not heard already, he scammed us out of $80. I'll put the chan I'll put the video in the description where we talk about his scamming and the proof that he scammed us. But, um, pretty much, long story sh short, cannot even talk today. I have like a. Actually, me having a, like, strep throat or whatever I have would not really relate to me being able to not even use right words correctly. And, um, but anyway, so he scammed us out of $80. We asked him for a community montage edit to give back to our community. At that point, we didn't have that many subs, but he kept saying that he would do it, like, oh, it'll be done in one week. No, two weeks now, three weeks. Oh, I just, my computer crashed. Can you resend the clips? Just all this kind of bullshit like that. And it was just like, at first we didn't realize it was a scam. Like, we thought even ourselves, oh, this big of a person would not be scamming us. But obviously we were wrong. And we kind of, at the, from the beginning, had the same ignorant um, view as a lot of other people still do now. And it kind of made me, us getting scammed, kind of taught me the lesson that no matter how reliable somebody may look, there's always greedy people. And that just because they have a large number of subs does not mean that they're not going to scam you. And does not mean that you should just go throwing money around over the internet. And you might think, why didn't we get this money back called PayPal? Well, we sent it over as a gift. So it didn't really work like that. If you guys know how PayPal works, I'm pretty sure you can't get money back if it's a gift. But anyway. So then we made a video about it. And we just got a bunch of, like, hate on it. I mean, we got a lot of good responses to people agreeing with us. I'm, I'm probably more of that than the hate. But, you know, I can take a hater comment like, commenting on how my commentating style is bad or just like calling me out for one thing or another but to get an ignorant comment like saying oh he has adk subs he's not going to scam you you guys are obviously wrong or it's a miscommunication it's annoying when people do that because you have no evidence whatsoever you're just completely speculating that just because he's known on youtube means that he is not going to scam you well if we just posted proof 
of what happened, why should you comment that when you don't know anything else? And normally, like, FaZe Agony would make a video, like, saying no to the scam, but he couldn't even do that because he knew that we were right. And, um, yeah, so that's kind of just wanted, what I wanted to say about that. I just kind of wanted to teach the lesson that before you actually know something for sure or have, like, a good idea with evidence don't make a stupid statement saying something when you don't really know much but yeah i guess if that made any sense uh i'm glad to you guys i'm glad it made sense if it did but we kind of shit on them in this game 7500 to 1400 but guys this is pg gifted and i'm out see you guys later